Hello and welcome back to another episode of Uncle Bill's Kitchen. Today is the day going to the South, New Orleans to be exact. We'll try our hand on a little bit of a po' boy sandwich. Want to know how? Stay tuned. Today we are going to be making a New Orleans classic, the po' boy sandwich. It's going to be with a little bit of a twist though. All you're going to need is some flour, cayenne pepper, oregano, thyme, garlic powder, pepper, salt, panko breadcrumbs or cornmeal, mayonnaise, and hot sauce. Now I didn't have any cornmeal so I used panko to give it the crisp. And we're going to mix up all of our seasonings, the flour and the panko in one bowl. Let's do a little mixy mixy here. Oh yeah. Now let's make the sauce. We're going to take about a quarter cup to a half cup, yeah, quarter cup of mayonnaise. We're gonna add some hot pepper to it. Oh, hot sauce, hot sauce. Sorry about the camera. I think it didn't like the red color. Ah, there we go. Mix it up, add a little salt. And then we're gonna pop this in the refrigerator while we get the rest of our assembly ready to go. Now I've taken my shrimp and left it in some buttermilk for about an hour. Good news, I didn't have any buttermilk, so I had to make my own. Stay tuned to the end to watch how I did it. And once we get them out of the buttermilk, we're gonna pat them dry a little bit. Oh yeah, you don't want too much moisture. Pop them into your flour dredge. Get a nice little coating on there and then put them on a plate. You can put one at a time, two at a time, four at a time. Just try to get as much flour off as possible once you've dredged them. You don't want the flour to float in your oil. This recipe called for about a cup of flour. I think it's way too much. I think you can get by with a half a cup without any problem. I had a lot left over after this and uh, I hate to waste, hate it. But whenever doing a recipe, it's always better to be safe than sorry. The first time you do it, you wanna follow it to a T and then add your adjustments. Now here we've got a pan with about two inches of oil. Preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna slowly place these shrimp in there to fry. Now, it only took about a minute and a half, two minutes for each round to go. But you don't wanna to put too many in your pan at one time. You don't want them to get crowded and you don't wanna lose the temperature of your oil. When they get a nice golden brown, pull them out and put them on a paper towel. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what I'd like to see. Perfectly golden brown. Beautiful. I had three rounds of shrimp for this two sandwiches. Do as many as you have to. For my pan, I wouldn't put more than 10 shrimp in. Now for assembly. Take the bottom of your bun, put some of your sauce on there, put your shrimp, oh, try to fit on as many as you can. Now for this recipe, I really strongly recommend using a French roll as opposed to this brioche bun. You just can only fit a small amount on there. The French roll, you can cut open halfway and keep the other side closed. That way your shrimp don't fall out. 
Let's do number two. Put the mayo mixture. Stack your shrimp. Here you go, little guys. One, two, three. Oh, oh, where are you going? Good. Stay there. Let's pile them high. That's the way I like it. I want to taste the shrimp in my po' boy. How about you? And we're done. Look at that. And right behind there to accompany it is my elote. Click on the link above to see how to make it. Now for the taste. First time my wife's trying a po' boy. Oh, she likes it. Thanks for stopping by Uncle Bill's Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps others find us online. If you're ever in a pinch and need to make some buttermilk, you're not going to believe how easy it is. Take one tablespoon of white vinegar and approximately one cup of milk. You want a total of one cup of the entire mixture. So just a tablespoon less from a cup. And it's that easy. That's all you have to do. Mix it up and you've got buttermilk. Can you believe that? So easy.